Hey, what up fellas? So you know what, for about the last year, there's been one fishing technique that I haven't been doing, and that's just because it's so easy. Let me show you what we're talking about real quick here. It's the freaking popping cork. It's just too good. And we're gonna be throwing the DOA shrimp on the bottom of that popping cork. And you know why I wanna go use this? It's because the other day, I was fishing with my buddies, Jeff and Drew, and the, the water was just super churned up. So I figured the popping cork would be a good choice. It, it was just so windy, it, would, it was hard to throw anything else. And you know what? I caught some freaking crazy fish. I hooked up on a giant redfish inshore. I think it was probably my PB inshore on a lure redfish. It was about, I think it was 36, 37 inches. And it was right here on the popping cork. You know with these popping corks, sometimes they're associated with noobs. Which can be true. Sometimes you see people at the jetties popping cork and with about this much leader, about two, three feet, and then some dead shrimp on the bottom. And they're just not gonna catch. You know, a lot of a lot of times they have wire leader too down to the bottom. And you know what? You see them, they're not usually catching fish. We'll say that at the least. The thing about our area we have around here is we have grass flats. And on grass flats, popping corks, two, three foot leader right there. They're just absolutely killer. Because like we said, they are flats, grass flats. So we're gonna be fishing the same water depth the whole time. Popping cork, you get, you get to control that perfectly. And on top of that, you get the popping cork fish feeding, mimicking sound. Lots of different lures you can throw on the popping cork too. We're gonna be using the DOA just cause that's what I was using the other day. And it was, it was doing the job. Oh yeah, and listen, we're, we're, we're running a little bit late. I was supposed to go fishing at sunrise, but the sun's already about to rise and we still gotta load some stuff up. We got the cooler right there. So let's start loading up, getting the cooler out there, and let's get in the water. Don't stay awake for too long. Don't go to bed. I'll make a cup of coffee for your head. I'll get you up and going out of bed. going in for some pop and cork action. Except for right now, because uh, super early in the morning, I want to throw a top water in shallow, right next to this little shoreline. Let's see what happens, let's see what happens. Oh, I smashed it! I was working it so fast too. Oh, this is a big fish, dude. This is a big fish. I was actually doing the redfish retrieve which is just working it really fast. I don't think this is red though. Yeah, it may be a red though. <laughs> if it's a trout, it's a really nice one. I just had a follow and I, I, the lure was messed up so it's kind of underwater and I was just jerking around trying to fix it. So I figured a crazy retrieve might work. Oh, it's a nice trout, let's go. Wow, let's go dude. First bite of the day and it's a decent one. A little bit deeper too. There's some grass and some potholes. You already know what I'm always fishing. Grass and potholes. Not super giant. Ooh, there he is. Kind of a new color for me too. Been using the, golly, he's powerful. Chrome, oh, that's a nice one, dude. Pretty big fish with a small head. Crazy. Been using this Chrome Super Spook Junior. It's been kind of killing it for me. I always like using chrome during kind of midday, but I've uh, been using it in the morning. It's been doing pretty good. It's a good 20 incher probably. Nice dude. Super awesome. Man, powerful guy too. Right now is like the tail end of when you can catch a super giant trout when they're super heavy. They're about to be spawning out a little bit. Crazy retrieve might be the way to go. We are going to be keeping a couple fish. But I think the popping cork will have that covered. Oh, there's something near it. Something near it. Whoa! That's a big one, dude. This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Bigger than the last one. Dude, same exact spot. And another big fish blows on, up on it. I don't think it's the same one, because I think he got the hooks the first time. They usually do not bite twice. Ah, pretty good, pretty good. Not as big as I thought. Man, when you're getting some trout pulling drag, 
you know you know you're onto a good bite. Look at that. I just increased the drag too. He does have it felt hooked. To be fair. Oh. Dang, that's another decent freaking fish right there though. Man, decent, really decent. That's all I gotta say about that guy. <laughs> He's just behaving so nicely too. We'll let him go. See, this is what I'm saying, dude. We could either be fishing the popping cork or we could be getting some crazy blow ups on top water. But look at these conditions, man. These are pretty much the exact conditions you want for an awesome topwater bite. Fishing in the morning with some overcast, sliding a little bit later in the morning, the overcast is gonna just keep the bite going and going. Wow! God, dude, these are all nice fish. These are all nice fish. Oh my God, dude, this is a big, <gasps> this is a red. Is that, is that a trout, dude? That's a red. Oh my God, dude. I saw him, I thought it was a trout. I was like, he's freaking huge! That's cool though, dude. It's crazy, it must be just reds cruising cruising through here. God, dude, I thought I was about to catch a mastodon of a trout. But it's always cool to catch a redfish mixed in. That's one good thing about reds on top water is they get it really good. They have those thicker lips too. You're not really gonna lose them. And they usually get it on the first strike too. Crazy. Awesome, dude, look at that huge spot. Very cool. Whew. See you, buddy. All these fish are just being very well behaved while I remove the hooks. I'm very proud of these fish. They're growing up to be great young gentlemen. I'm sorry fellas, we're gonna get, we're gonna get to the popping cork, don't worry. But right now, this bite is insane. Oh, there he is. Man, that's a nice one, dude. You know what, let's do, let's get a, let's get a weight measurement on this guy. He's pretty skinny. So maybe not too much. Make your estimates. Give your estimates right now. I'd say that's almost eh, 19, 20 inch fish right there. 275 right there. Not a terrible, not a bad fish. These blow ups are just awesome. My God, dude. This is insane. Wow, these fish are just demolishing, man. Three and a half, dude. Nice fish. Man, this is insane. This bite is insane, dude. Man, insane. That's one of the best top water bites I've had this whole year, actually. That's the best top water bite I've had this year. Man, it just goes to show you gotta you gotta bring your top water with you. But right now, it's time to go in. Pop a cord. <laughs> Check it out. We do have the, the cooler with a little bit of uh, ice in there. So we're gonna be keeping a few fish. Of course what this popping cord does, it makes a little bit of a popping noise on top. It kind of sounds like a trout feeding. Maybe a trout blowing up on something and that attracts the other trout. They think a feeding frenzy is happening. And then they see the cork, but they also see a nice little shrimp under it. There he is. Ooh, I need to tighten that drag a little bit, huh? God, it's, it's just so visual. It makes it, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, it might be a decent trout. This is a decent trout. Wow. Wow, that's a nice trout, dude. Popping cork can give you any size fish. Lots of small ones and still have the chance at the big ones. Nice fish, dude. Ooh. Huh, almost, almost 20 inches right there. My favorite size to keep is 18 to 19 inches, but this 20 will do fine. Especially since the DOA shrimp kind of ripped, it, ripped up his mouth a little bit. All right, we're at the second spot. It's a little bit shower flat, so I think we're gonna cut down the leader a little bit. 
make sure it's not dragging on the bottom and we're also going to switch it up to a crazy color super chartreuse that's the most chartreuse thing i've ever seen in my life well let's try it out oh is that our guy no thought we had our red fish i think this is a better trout though Ooh, that is a better trout. Nice, dude. Let's go. And that's gonna be our second keeper. I almost thought I was gonna drop him. Well, it wasn't the popping cork after all. The top water came in clutch for us today. The popping cork did us get us some fish, but we don't need it. We don't need no dang popping cork. I say that, but I probably am gonna be using it quite a bit this year. But we do have those two fish. Let's go play them up. Well, I know you guys won't blame me when I say we're not gonna do anything crazy with this fish. Just gonna put on a few spices and throw it on the grill because it's all we got. I'm trying to spend as little time as possible at the supermarket. It's a good thing that speckled trout doesn't take much to taste good. It already does by itself. <laughs> I love you guys very much. See you next time. Salte, salte, salte ya de mi cabeza. Que ya no puedo pensar en más nada.